Hi everyone, Joshua Hanlon here at Bricks Cascade 2019 and we're bringing you an update on the Dupocalypse collaboration. So we showed this once in the past, but there was way less builds. Now it's way cooler with way more mayhem. So we've got a couple builders here that are going to take us through it. You guys want to introduce yourselves and we'll take a look. Hi, my name is Boone Langston and uh, I made the sign. I don't know. I. I love Dupocalypse. I don't want to say that like I'm the inventor of Dupocalypse or that it was my idea, but um, you know, I it, it, it is deep in my heart and I go way back with it. I'm Perry Wang and I do whatever Boone tells me to do. <laughs> so because he came up with it, I had to go and work on it. You just he has such good ideas, you're just like I'm here to execute. That's right. I'm the I'm the executor guy. <laughs> So then, uh, Boone, if you want to run us through some of what we got, maybe some of the new stuff since the last video, what's been added? Yeah, so last year we had four people collaborating on this, and this year I think w when we counted, we uh, we counted 13 people participating, but I actually think a couple people might have dropped down, uh, you know, a couple more builds since then. So we maybe 13, 14, or 15 people collaborating on this now. Um, there's a lot of really new great things. The one that John was just focusing on there was a, a, a plane by uh, Drew Quinn, and I, I think that's one of the best examples of the new, you know, as far as capturing the spirit of Dupocalypse. You know, it's it's colorful, it's bubbly because it's Duplo, but it's gritty. He's got an eye patch. That's those are legit pieces too. It's a it's an official Lego. Um, rubber band with you know one by one with a clip over his eye he's got lego dynamite strapped to his chest you know drew i i said to drew i feel like you know you kind of put a gatlin gun on top of any duplo car and you you've sort of like nailed the uh um the dupocalypse ideal yeah the 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 image of dupocalypse and we kind of agreed on that um another really cool one that we've got here uh, chris gear one did he did he get a yeah uh, he, 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 he won an honorable mention for this i think this is really beautiful again and he's got the zoo one here these are just really good examples of you know taking a duplo and turning it into just this really awesome kind of post-apocalypse vehicle the turret on top there the guy is just so great that's yeah that's perfect yeah and <laughs> just, when people go to the lengths of like giving them gear shifts to hold on to and this guy's he's holding on to like the gear shift with one hand and he's controlling the bucket with a chain in the other hand it's really amazing details i think out here at the front we've got jake sadovich you know this guy just wins stuff at pretty much every con he goes to and uh, he won an award here for Dupocalypse with Santa's sled um, it just phenomenal he found this old Duplo Tulo stuff and it's it's really only compatible with itself and Duplo so he had the you know he kind of told me a little bit about how he had to build up this engine and it ended up being sort of this ridiculous you know kind of like Hot Wheels or like uh, Big Daddy Ed Roth sort of style with this just massive engine and then uh, I think he actually found the Santa sled later and he's like yeah this is it so we got Duplo. So one of the rules is you have to have sort of a body piece or a chassis piece that's Duplo and you have to have a Duplo driver um, and then everything else can be system or Technic or whatever you want to use to kind of trick it out Let's see, um, three people have used this little fire engine, uh, and I think there's some pretty interesting things. So here we got Daniel has Mickey and Minnie out here. These are both new. I think they're, they're pretty cute builds there. Um, but then, uh, let's see, Patrick, and whose is this? That's Nick's, right? Where's his mock card? I don't see it. Um, any, anyway, I think, so that's Patrick Griffin back there. He also used that little fire engine, and he's got some really sweet, like, bendable, I think those are bionicle pieces with those spikes coming out, and I just love what he built there. It sort of looks like a, like a face to me, like a skull or something. Right, with, like, the headlights and everything. Yeah, yeah, exactly, but it's also kind of like, you know, the front of a train that, like, pushes cows out of the way or whatever. Um, and then this one over here, I love this one. I think this is Nick. I apologize if I get this wrong, if this is someone else's build. But he's used those panel pieces, and um, it's like this. He's got a shed. I'm going to manipulate this a little bit. I hope he doesn't mind. So it's like a little fire truck in front and like a shed in back on treads. And um, he actually he won these on the first night of the convention and built this and brought it on the second day of the convention. So, uh, yeah, those are just some really good examples. I don't think Perry had his... Uh, what do you call it? It's because of my tiny arms. Uh, a Duplo Dino Mech here. You want to talk about that, Perry? 
the best part of this mech, uh, this mock is the name. Is it because of my tiny arms? Question mark. <laughs> so he's got it's a it's a T Rex with tiny little arms, but he's got mechanical controllers on each hand in his palm, so that he has giant mech arms to take care of business. <laughs> yeah, and then then uh, this one was new for this year too. Um, best part of this is also the name. <laughs> I'm so upset that you're upset. This is a typical conversation I have with my wife. <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot to dive into there, but we won't go into that right now. Is, what, what kind of show is this? And we're not supposed to do that? Okay, sorry about that. I love all of the, the rocket pods at the top there. That's great. Yeah, it's ready for action. Yeah, Boone, let's talk about uh, Drew's train. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So <laughs> Drew's train over here uh, is, you know, just a hot mess of Dupocalypse action. Um, I love, I, I just absolutely love that this teeny tiny engine is, is, you know, carrying all this crazy stuff. You can just kind of look through this guy's shoveling the, the, you know, the fire, to the coal in there, yep, <laughs> shoveling it in to stoke the engine. Again, you know, we've got the Gatlin gun on top of the engine. We've got a car back there where a little Duplo looks like a dog is operating a giant, you know, circular saw. It's got like a drop-down display, for yeah. like operating. Yeah, yeah, heads-up display, right? <laughs> and then, and then he calls this back section the caboose, obviously. And I think there's like, what, like a baby boiling with a skeleton in this vat of green goo. We've got a. <laughs> this is like a cyborg horse with like a like a laser eyepiece and yet another. I mean, I call these Gatlin guns. I hope I'm using the right word, but um, and then just like a, some sort of giant laser on top. And he's used. He said that he actually pulled these Duplo train pieces out from a box that was from his own childhood. Uh, and he's like, I just got to use these for Dupocalypse. And so I think, you know, the train is on. Or the I'm sorry, the engine is on one. This car is on two. And then the caboose looks to me to be like four. Duplo train elements put together with just a really amazing uh, operation built on top of that. Um, I, we've also got Cinderella over here. That's really cool. Like I didn't even, I don't know that I was aware of the Cinderella Duplo set when it was on shelves, but here it is, and and she's just ready to rock and roll. Like the giant axe and like a claw yeah, arm yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, I think the sort of the. What the the shovel on the front of this thing with the wheels and the spikes and and the and the saw, this this is really just well executed Dupocalypse stuff. Right. Uh, I'll talk just a little bit since we're over here about uh, the sign. So this was a new theme and we had some technical difficulties uh, getting the poster. I don't know, maybe John, you could like show one one of the other signs look like at one of the other themes. I don't know, is that possible? So most of the themes have these green vinyl signs and uh, post-apocalypse was a new theme. So we've just got kind of some dilapidated my, signs. My theory is that they, they weren't sure how we would do this year, so they didn't spend the money on the sign. Oh, they didn't trust you guys. They didn't know you'd bring out the good stuff. I don't know yeah. why they don't trust us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, you know, our sign is like a tattered piece of cloth. and. <laughs> it's so good. That's almost as good as the build itself. Yeah, I guess uh, I'll mention just a couple more here. So this is a, a, a mech that Lige built. He is the theme coordinator for Mecha here at Bricks Cascade. And he put together just a bunch of Duplo vehicles to build a big robot there. And uh, I think probably my favorite thing about it is that he's used Mater in the place of the, the head. So you have a face where there should be a face and it's like a hilarious face <laughs> to look at and then of course just the flames coming up from behind his head uh and then i guess i'll talk about my new one last um i i we needed something flying overhead you know yeah i uh i had this plan i call it the i think i call it happy maxwell's flying circus so it's like it can't be mad max right because it's du duplo so this is a Happy Maxwell and his flying circus. And uh, I've been actually collecting parts for that for a little while, but I ran out of time to build it for the con. Uh, but when I got here and I saw just what incredible turnout we had for Dupocalypse and just all the new amazing stuff, I uh, went home the first night of the con and cranked that out. So is the pirate sails? Yeah, those are, so there's four pirate sails. It's like the lower sail from one of the more recent ships. I, it, it's one, it, I just bought the cheapest one on, on uh, on Bricklink, uh, and then of course one of the sort of like uh, the sail from the front of the ship. I don't know what's that the 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 bow sail, whatever that's called. 
Um, and then yeah, a lot of Technic there, moving the wings up and down. That actually had two problems that broke, and I had to sort of solve the problems within the first 24 hours, but it's been running pretty well ever since then. It looks perfect perched on top of the sign there. That works really well. Yeah, thank you very much. So, oh yeah, we've got uh, another, <laughs> another sign we want to show here. This is a uh, shout out to Perry. He felt this was very important. <laughs> <laughs> So, were there any other builds we needed to, to look at here? Yeah, we've got Ecto-1. Uh, do you know much about Ecto-1, Perry? I don't know who built it. Is it? Lauren. He. He. Yeah, so Lauren brought this one in. It's an Ecto-1 from the movie Ghostbusters, which is a movie that has a vehicle in it called Ecto-1. Yeah, I know what the Ecto-1 is. Boone doesn't know much about pop culture, so thanks, Perry. <laughs> uh, yeah. So there we got the Ecto-1. I guess we've also got, I mean, there are other new builds. There are some of them I just don't know much about. Yeah. Um, this one up here looks like, is that a oh, Sophia the First? So Arwen built... The chuck wagon. So they built the chuck wagon. Again, it's their first year. But the big thing is in the back here, they actually have some people in a spa, in a hot tub spa, just enjoying and relaxing next to some cooking, so I think they're cooking at the same time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this, this spinning saw is amazing right here in the front. This yeah. one here I like that has like the old western wheels on it, and then it's got like the, the organ gun look on top there with the row of barrels. <laughs> very, very like uh, classical. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, then, and then this one back here is another train, and I think the cat must be driving. And there's like a shark. There's like a shark hanging on a on a boom in the in the back of that train. I don't know if that's like if it's a live shark that's like ready to eat any you know uh, any opposition that comes their way, or if it's like a dead shark, sort of being like, hey, we kill our sharks, so stay away. Um, but uh, anyway, and the, the burning cactus throughout, I think, is a nice touch as well. It gives that nice desert effect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Perry's idea. Wasn't yeah. that you did the first burning cactus, right? That's right. Yeah, we needed some more landscaping. And what better than burning cactus? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that pretty much is uh, the essence of Dupocalypse this year. I love to see that it's been expanded on with so many new builders. I, I would just love to see this keep going and going and going. You get, yeah, some more, you know, like plants and stuff, vegetation, a little more stuff like that. I think you just build it out and make a whole world of it. Yeah, thank you so much. If you want to know about, there's a, there's a couple builds in here that were here last year. Uh, so you can certainly go back and watch that uh, original. We'll put a link in the description video. to the, the original video so you can hear more of how it all started and everything too. But yeah, thank you guys. Always great to chat always bring the cool stuff here at the show, so I'm glad we could do this. Thank you so much. Thank you.